Hey guys, it's Shadow Night Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, the view is different, the angle is weird, it's messy, I'm trying to avoid the mess as much as possible but it's unavailable. So it's this my floor and not my desk, that's because I'll be unboxing this uh, monitor that I bought recently and it's to replace that. That's a TV actually, it's not an actual monitor because my screen for my computer is horribly cracked. Also this is a me. Uh, workspace stores, but not really. But we'll be unboxing, trying to cut out the mess. That thing, which is a Samsung LED TV, it's 19.5 inches. And let's hope my phone doesn't fall as I do this. Are you okay, phone? All right. So you'll be seeing my legs for the most part and my shelving. So let's open this up. Now where do I start? Scissors. Yes, everything is more or less within reach. Yeah. I'll clean that up later. So it's a Samsung. And I don't have a really good space for this. It's a Samsung LED monitor. It's 19.5 inches. Um, green mode flicker free. There's not much to talk about it. It's just a normal monitor. I guess I have to open it up this way. Or it's just not just the way they carry it. What's the right side up? This is pop. So. So we have the main unit. Damn, that's nice. That is nice. So thin and light too. So it works with HDMI and there's only a power there. I'm guessing this is either touchscreen or remote operated. Yes. Let's try it too. Yes. Yes. Now, I don't have much space here right now, so let's clean up. So, here's your monitor. Here's my monitor, rather. Wah, wah, wah. And it comes with a stand. I wonder if it comes with your box. So that's that. Release and lock. Oh, fancy. So that's the base. Nice. It's not very wide. It's actually pretty small. It's like a plate. Where first be? Yeah. And then we have the stem. I wonder what you call that. So even if it doesn't come with an HDMI, I have HDMI here anyway for my current TV if I need it. No, yes, no, yes, yes. Ooh, ooh. You know what, I need to figure out how to attach. I guess this goes like this. Yeah. Not, not looking at instructions. So this to lock. I need a screwdriver for this. I don't have a screwdriver. Fine, we'll do it like this. It will probably hold. Uh, Trying back the diamond. <laughs> so I'm doing it the sort of manual way. I'm just like, sort of just tightening it with my fingers. It's ruining my nail polish, but whatever. 
There we go. We have the stand. And then we have a power brick, which is fairly small, which is fine. At least I have to worry about it less. And this, how do I get into this? I just tear it, I guess. Here we go. We have HDMI and I guess the extension of the cord. Yeah, this is the one that plugs into the monitor, I guess. How do I get you out? Here we go. Yeah, so this is the one that plugs into the socket. Okay, got it. So what I need to know is what kind of adapter it uses. Yes, this is HDMI, so my sound will transfer to it. Okay. I wonder how film setting this up. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. Yeah, so basically how to set the top is to turn the TV over, or the, yeah, the screen over. And there's this thing here that it will connect to. I'm just, I guess it just slots in there. Let's do this, this at an angle. Am I wrong? Hmm, that's right. That should be right. Yeah. It's supposed to slot in. I thought it was the other way. Yeah. How does this work? There we go. That's pretty sturdy. So now we have the TV. Cool. Now. Yep. Yeah. Now we need to set this up. So I might cut this here for a bit and then. So you need to clear out a lot of stuff. Okay, we're back. So I repositioned the camera and we will now clean up my desk a little bit and also set up this new monitor. So let's grab all of this out of here. So, this is how it looks like now. There's infinitely more space than before, and it's a very, very beautiful um, monitor. So, it's touchscreen. So, to turn it, I don't know if you can see it somewhat, but there's, there's a button here to tap that, tap that to turn it on and off. Um, this is an auto button. This does something. This adjusts the brightness. So you tap 
certain things to get certain things to work. I've adjusted my settings at this point. This is game mode. I'm not really sure if it makes it more contrasted, but turning it off makes it more like cooler since I adjusted it to have a cool tone. And that's basically it. It's really nice. I had to adjust the settings a little bit to play around with what I wanted, but it's very, very nice. Um, actually, since it's at 60 uh, refresh rate, 60 hertz frames per second, I don't know what you call it, but it's not getting those like weird wavy lines when I film it with the phone camera so that is great the power brick is very tiny so like it's hidden the power the, the lines are hidden under here it's connected to my wires over there and it generally gives me more space than what the TV did <laughs> well there's not much to say about um, a monitor but my problem with the TV was it was starting to have lines on the screen and the color contrast was utterly horrible and my ratio and proportions of the TV now matches that of the laptop. So the true test is how my drawing now looks like. So I've had this drawing, uh, line art for Drive, which I'll bring up, I'll upload sooner or later. I've had that in the wings for such a long time, but I'm, I haven't been able to color it because the skin, the monitor I was using was kind of shit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Damn, I see things so clearly. I'm so happy. Damn, 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 damn. Right, so I guess that ends the unboxing um, slash mini workspace tour of sorts. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, cool monitor. And where did I get it? Um, I'm employed in this company called Storm Benefits in the Philippines. Um, it's a thing. <laughs> it provides flexible benefits and incentive stuff and it has a marketplace of sorts and I got it from there. So yeah, thanks and I'll see you guys around.